Glenda Mollett here, independent stamping up demonstrator from In My Craft Room, also known as the Craft Room Stamper, and I'm here today to share the April Monthly Stamping Club card number two using Rooted in Nature. This one has a cool technique on the front of it. Um, it's kind of like a watercoloring technique, and we're going to use shimmer white cardstock today because it has the it has the properties that it can withstand a bit of water without breaking down the cardstock. So this is the card we're going to make. It's a double Z fold card. And we're going to use shimmer white for the this part and this part. The leaves. There's two sets of leaves. The um, leaf, this leaf, and for doing the tree. And the tree is the watercolor technique part. And then we're going to slide a, one of the leaf trinkets in underneath. Okay, so here's the recipe. And if you're part of our monthly club for April 2019, here's the host code for the club order. Our hostess this month is Holly. And we are in our last month of the current round of the... Um, monthly stamping club and if you would like to join us for the next one that comes up in May or one of the future ones please contact me I am available you can message me through Facebook or you can email me I'm just trying to get the email address here there's my email address gjmollett at shaw.ca okay and we're done with the the recipe so all this is the envelope and we're going to be using soft suede blackberry bliss mint macaron tranquil tide and crumb cake inks today okay so I want to show you how to do this cool technique on the tree and I just wanted to show you the difference between using a little bit of water and it kind of it does a watercolor technique or a lot of water and then we're going to die cut this tree out with the the nature's roots dies now the stamp set is a double stamp set so you get all of these images plus you get these and a lot of sentiments as well as well and there's a set of 12 dies that go with that coordinate with the stamp set. They're called the Nature's Roots dies. And until the end of May 2019, you can get these guys in a bundle and save 10%. Okay, so that's part of what we're going to use. We're also going to use the Picture Perfect Birthday, and we're going to use the Happy Birthday, Happiest of Birthdays sentiment, and the Waterfront stamp set, this blotchy thing. Okay, so to do this, you need, I usually use a spritz box that I have, but it's not going to work on camera, so I'm just using a plate that I picked up at the dollar store, and I'm going to move my, the card out of the way because it can get real wet. So, and a spritzer, one of the stamping up spritzers, and this just has some water in it. So you need, because we're using two separate colors on the tree. There's soft suede and tranquil tide. We're going to color the stamp with the markers and when you're doing that you always color on the side of your marker. This is just the water-based Stampin' Right markers. Don't try this with the blends because it won't work. You have to have water-based markers. So if you do it this way using your point. You can destroy the point on your marker, but if you do it this way, your point is preserved and you get larger coverage so it goes a bit faster. And you don't have to be too particular except that if you look at the stamp, let's just, oh well, I guess I can just turn it over. So if you look at the stamp, it does have some spots where the the trunk shows through, so I'm just trying to uh, sh avoid using the green on those areas so I can stick some brown in there. Brown. Tranquil Tide and Soft Suede. 
Yes. Another gorgeous day here where I live. We've had the most amazing spring. It says March goes in like a lion and out like a lamb, or in like a lamb and out like a lion. Well, we just had a, lo a lamb month for the entire month. Now spring's here, the trees are budding, the flowers are coming out. Okay, so now I'm going to go back in with my soft suede and just do uh, the areas where the trunk is going to show through. You don't have to be too precise because with the water on this, it kind of makes things flow anyways. So there we are. Now comes the, the part where you need... You need the water and something to cover your work area with if you don't want to get it all wet and a spritzer with just water in it. So I've inked this all up with the markers and if you just wanted your stamp to look like this with all the phenomenal detail then just huff it and bring the moist air out of your lungs to reactivate the ink and stamp it. But that's not the look that I'm going for. So you can Put it down, spritz into the air, and let it fall on. But it will take a long time, like a lot of spritz. And I don't want to spritz my camera, because then you'll be wondering what I'm up to. So I'm just going to kind of gently... Oops! You see the see it running already? All right. Where did I put the piece of cardstock? Uh-oh. Oh. Having an avalanche. There it is. I didn't get it out yet. Okay, so now you just turn it over, put it down, and don't move it. Don't let it scorch back and forth, because all you want to do is transfer that running ink onto your um, cardstock. So there we have it. And now if you've got blotches like that, you can leave them. It's not a big deal, but you can also take a little tiny bit of paper towel and just sop up those extra blotches. All it does, I didn't do, I didn't slop up the blotches on this one and it just makes your tree darker in some areas, which is okay because it's a tree and that's what it does. Okay, so I'm just going to put this to the side and, and let it dry while we go on to do the rest of it. So this is also shimmery white cardstock. And I hope you can see a bit of the shine. I hate it when people do these online and go, doo, 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 doo. can you see it? So I'm going to go real slow. Maybe if I'm lucky, you'll be able to see the shimmer. Anyways, it's ambidextrous cardstock, so it doesn't matter which side you use. And I'm going to do the wash on the front. So we're going to use mint macaron and crumb cake. Just check and make sure that yeah it's just the outside that's done okay and an aqua painter with water in it now these new ones the old ones are really easy to get the ink onto the lid so you just click them open and just squish and it transfers ink right onto the lid and then you're going to use that the new ones are a little bit harder so you have to get them together and really give them a good squish Squish. And that'll transfer some of the ink on there like that. Okay, so now I'm going to take a bit of, bit of water because I want to wash. I don't want too much color. And just run down. And you don't have to do the whole thing. And if you want a little bit more color in it, just add a bit of color. You can't play too much with this because even though it's um, it's the shimmery white, it will still eventually break down. So you can't go back and forth and back and forth with it. It is what it is. So just closing that one up. Now I'm going to get some of the get my marker, get some of the soft. 
or sorry, crumb cake. I do the same thing with a nice light wash and just back and forth. There we are. And I think I'll add a little bit more color down here to the bottom. There. Now I'm going to set that aside to dry. And to clean your brush off, you just squish the water out of it while you wipe it on a piece of paper towel. Okay. Getting things out of my way here that I'm done with. Oops. That's not the lid for that. That's the lid for that. That's the lid for that. Okay, and we're done with the markers. So now, the inside piece doesn't have anything on it, but there's a big piece in here. It's five and a half by four and a quarter, and that's going to do um, five leaves. So there's two on the front, two on the inside, and then this leaf. So tranquil tide, and we want there's two sizes of leaves, and we want the little one. I don't want to cover up your host code there, because you might need that for when you place your club order. So one, is that in, oh, maybe I'm stamping a little bit too low for you to see what I'm doing. So two little ones in Tranquil Tide. And then soft suede, a couple of the big ones in soft suede. Oh, it's like my ink pad needs to be re inked. That's better. I'm going to stamp another one because I've got lots of room here. I'll have to re-ink that. Okay, two of the big ones in soft suede. And one of the funky ones in mint macaron. I don't know what kind of leaf this is. Gary Oak or something. Something that I'm not familiar with. And one of those in mint macaron. Okay, now we also need to do the envelope. So this is what I did to the envelope. Just the small one in Tranquil Tide. Well, let's dig out my Tranquil Tide again. Got the envelope. And the little one. And just do a few leaves on there. And I think I'll change this one up a bit. Because I can. I'm going to go in with the big one. And soft suede. Let's get my scrap paper here. So I'm not stamping right on my good paper. So I'm being OCD today. And just going to do this in a couple of spots. There we are. Now, this is the piece I did the wash on and it's not quite dry yet. You can use that, the heat gun if you want to heat that up and hurry the process along, but I think I'll just start assembling the card instead. Okay. So your petal pink base is 11 by four and a quarter. Then you scored at two and three quarter and five and a half. And then the Blackberry Bliss part, which is the other part of the Z fold, you're going to score at two and three quarter and five and a half as well. And then there's a little bit of a trick to getting it together. So just do your score, your folders on your score lines. Use your bone folder to get nice crisp folds. So this one 
you fold back and make sure that you when you do your fold on your score line that you get it even so that it's folding nice okay so now this one is going to go on here like this voila so you need to put adhesive on the entire this except where I'm going to th thread the leaves underneath you see here I just didn't put adhesive there so that I could slip the leaves in but if we cut them out now I won't have to worry about that so I'm going to do that get this stuff out of the way. Oops, my tree's not dry yet. I don't want to put anything on the tree. Okay, so this is my magnetic platform. And for years, I've been turning mine over. You see how it's got a bit of a, a give in it? If your plate does that, then just flip it over. And then it will go flat on the other way as well. Okay, so we need one of these. Oops, this way around. Just take your time when you're lining them up. Oh. Yeah, okay. I hear you. Apparently my plate is a little too bowed for this to work. This plate is probably three years old. And one of the green, the tranquil tide ones. Oh. not going to work. It's not going to work. Maybe I'll just try my other plate. That was... I will try this plate. It doesn't have quite a, as big a waddle in it. This way. Do you see what's happening? It's because the uh, magnetic platform isn't all magnet. There's just got a few magnets in it in spots and the dies always want to go to where it is. So you have two choices. You can either move your cardstock to where your dies want to go or use a bit of washi tape to hold them in place. And this one goes down here. Okay, I gotta find my washi tape because this is this is driving me nuts. So don't go anywhere. I'm just getting some washi tape. So when you're using your washi tape, just make sure because it's still gonna stick. Just make sure. Oops. You don't rip it first of all and make it useless. Um. Put it, don't put it over the, like right over this because sometimes running it through the big shot will cause it to really stick to your cardstock. So put it on the outside edge. So get it lined up really good, exactly where you want it. And then just and make sure it's down there, but don't push it in there. So while I'm at it, let's just stick a couple of pieces on the leaves too so they don't move. Just a quick tip on how to make your dies not move for you because there's nothing worse than doing all this die cutting and having it end up not where you want it and having to re-stamp it. Okay, so it's going I'm gonna run it through the big shot here. doesn't take too long. And there we are. So now I'm just going to slide those out. Move this over and line it up with the next one. And sometimes I actually store the dies with the washi tape on them. 
if it turns out to be an issue with more than once. Okay, it's going to run this through. One moment, please. There we are. So the only thing we have left to die cut is the tree. There's the leaves. And let's take this one out of here. And there's the leaf, or sorry, the tree. And we'll put this on here. Line it up. Sure, that looks good. Now, I just gotta make sure it didn't move. Alrighty, and run that through the big shot and cut it out. I love these, this stamp set in dies. It's really versatile. Now, if you're in my club and you get the kit, see it says tree on the bottom, that lets you know which one you need to use for your tree because there's three small pieces and the other two are for here. Okay, so now I'm going to take one of each of these some tape on there and I'm going to put so I'm going to assemble these two a little bit of tape on the back of that one and just figure out where I want them to be there that looks pretty good and get my base stick it where stick the base approximately where I want it And then just slide those under there. Okay, I'm going to have to put it over a bit more because you have to leave, make sure your leaves will s not hang out past the edge of your card or you're not going to get it in the envelope. There we are. So now that's attached. Those are attached to the back of that. So now I can uh, put my adhesive on. This is the one that's going to be on the inside of the card. And just put your adhesive right over top of these guys. And then if you don't want them to lift, you can stick some adhesive on them, but I'm going to leave this one. All right, so now open that up and move this over to where it you want it. And I haven't pushed the adhesive down yet. I just want to make sure that that looks okay. It's a little crooked, so I just got to move it a tad. Come on. Oops. I don't like crooked things. Okay, there we are. So that part is stuck down now where you want it. And we're going to take this piece of the designer paper, which comes from, let me get the name, nature's poem designer paper and it coordinates really nicely with the stamp set and everything there is a stamp of that image as well so it goes on the front and we have to put it on before we put the uh, our other pieces on there because it's underneath them this designer paper has wood grains on one side of it so you could use either one and it just fits on here flat. So I'm going to stick it up like this so I can see what I'm doing to see how I'm getting it so that it's even on the bottom, which is actually the top. There we are. Now before I push it hard, let's make sure it looks the way I want it to look. Yep. Okay. Now we can stick it on. And then if it overhangs at the back, just cut it off. So now we're going to put adhesive on this part to attach it to the front, but you don't want it on the whole thing. You just want it on part of it. So if you put it down like this, 
and then kind of lift it up and I'm making two little pencil marks on the back. Can you see them there? There and there. That tells me that this is the area I have to put my adhesive on. Oh, we have to put the, the leaves on here now. Just the same way that we did the, the other side. Put the adhesive on the back of the little one and the front of the big one. And we're going to stick them there. And these ones you don't have to be too particular about because there's just not much of a chance of them sticking out past the edge of the card. There we are. So that they're stuck now to the edge of that. We'll put the adhesive just where the line is there. Make sure you don't go past that line or you're going to end up sticking your card together and you won't be able to open it. Yeah, did that a few times in my world. And your adhesive should go right over top of your leaves there so that they get good adhesion. Now, keep this closed, close that, and then just fold this back. And there you go. And it's lined up. Now, it's not going to lay flat because, I don't know, something to do with physics or quantum physics or some kind of weird thing. <laughs> I don't know what the difference is, but that's what it's supposed to do. So there's the base done. Now we're, we can finish this. Get out the Blackberry Bliss. Come on. I don't know why that didn't open. Oh, this one is stiff. Apparently I haven't used it a lot. Hey, okay. happiest of birthdays to you. Nice and inky. And Right there is good. There we are. Now I need the soft suede and the dots. And there's lots of dots, so you only have to stamp it once. Or you can stamp it more than once. It just gives a bit of texture to the sand or ground or whatever you want to call it there so that's our stampin all done now we just have to finish assembling it so this now is going to go directly onto our card now let's see what this card is oh it was inspired by a card made by christine mcnoddle 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 So it's not exactly the same as hers. I did change it a bit, but she's the one that gave me the idea of what to use on here. There we are. So that goes on there. Now, the tree. Hello, tree. Oh, there we are. Dimensionals. The tree is popped up on dimensionals. And then you need to leave a little bit of room right here to slide your leaf under. So I'm going to put that dimensional right there on the edge. And now we have this long thin trunk. So I just use the edge of these and cut a couple of thin slices to put on the trunk of the tree. There. Okay, so that's going to go there. I just want to make sure where I'm going to put it that so that the uh, dimensionals don't hang out past the edge. And I think that one is going to... We'll just move this one in a bit. And it's going to go right there. So I'm just going to make sure that's better. And then the leaf, and there's different leaves to choose from. I use this one, but there's also 
those ones in silver, and then there's the tri leaf in copper, or yeah, copper, I guess, or silver, and they're different on both sides. The one side has a bit of um, distressing or or what do they call it? Antiquing on it. So this is going to go right in there. And you can, when you come to club, you can choose whatever one you want. I think I'll use that one. No, let's use the silver one. Sure, let's use the, we'll use the silver one. Okay, take the backing off of the dimensionals. And line it up properly here. There we are. Now to attach that, I need a glue dot. One of the mini glue dots. And I'm just going to put it right onto the back of the leaf. And then slide it up. If you don't push it in, you can slide it without the glue dot sticking. There we are. So we're done. Oh, haven't put this. Well, we're done the outside. We haven't done the ins finished the inside yet, but it's really easy because this piece has no stamping on it. So it just goes down. And this is where you do your sentiment on the inside like the, the happy birthday to you. Or dear, dear hubby, or dear son, or dear Joe, or dear Peggy. There we are. And then this leaf, which I don't know what kind of leaf it is. I'm just going to put adhesive on the back and stick it right there. So there. And there's our envelope. So here's the original card, and here's the card we created today in my craft room. There we are. Don't forget the club host code for April 2019 for when you put in your club order. Um, it Holly is our hostess this time, and this is, as I said, April 2019, and the new one starts in May. And if you would like to join us, please give me a message, phone me, or email me, and we can talk about it. Even if you don't live in town, I have three members of our monthly stamping club that are virtual members. You have to be Canadian. That's the only stipulation. And you have to put in the minimum club order bef on or before the club stamping date, and you can do it online or you can do it in person with me. I'd love to talk to you about it. And thanks so much for joining me in my craft room today. I have stamp and smiles. Have a wonderful day. Bye for now.